Well, okay, there we go. Uh, that was uh, yeah, drunk. Yeah, boobs. <laughs> Why is it the one clear word would get his boobs? Hello. Like, quite like it started off with just verbal diarrhea from everyone because it was not responding. Then it starts recording on everyone being like, uh, <laughs> anywho. <laughs> Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Devil Darlings with my midlife crisis. <laughs> oh, for a second there, I thought you forgot our names. I'm like, you've. <laughs> so, uh, my friends. <laughs> with my uh, my living nightmares. <laughs> my 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 acquaintances. <laughs> with these bumble fox. Yeah, that's, that's an board. My potential pay yeah. packets for fu for the future. <laughs> My black oh, victims. <laughs> that's funny. You think you're getting paid from what we say? <laughs> uh, Anywho, uh, who's doing the intro? Who's doing the intro? Intros, intros. Not me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna rule Santa out of this one because Santa's got a bad throat today, so Santa is excused I, from singing uh, today. So. I, in fact, do I be cheeky while well, we've got a sack here? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> He's gonna leave, watch. What's that? <laughs> Don't be a coward. I'm, I'm gonna roll for it. It's only fair. Well, he's going to be AFK, so we're going exactly I'm sing gonna, for yeah, us. That's why I'm rolling a D6, because I'm pretty sure Rack is also it's AFK. It's not me. Also, Rack will mm -hmm. be here for... No, oh, I'm here. Full. Oh. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, I don't think Rack is going to be I'm here. here. Game, but... I'm going to be here for some of it. i got to leave at like 3.30, 4 o'clock, so... Okay. There we go, then. So, boom. He'll be here for most of it, then. I'm sorry, Dio. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dio. <laughs> Give her a moment. Give yeah. her a moment. Don't force her, her out of me. Give her a moment. Oh, and Jesus, praise be. Oh, no, I recounted backwards from Zach, so, you know, one, two, three, looks like a man. Tonight, the DM makes a move, and all the men. Yeah. How One, two, three. The character take control at the end of every week. Each one of us becomes a geek. Hey. 95% of that got talked over. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But... <laughs> it, it, the was there. I turned her up for it, so God, it's fine uh, on my you, end. You did wonderful, Beyond. <laughs> you did. In fact, I gave you a hug. Yeah, so you did. A hug and then you okay, slapped Dion? Brain, meh. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anywho, it's last time on the Devil Darlings, you all met a new friend in the form of <laughs> Yules. The small, the small purple kobold therapist. Who the fuck you calling purple? I'm a royal goddamn purple. Jeez, listen to the description. Excuse me, we're only allowed one fourth world breaker in this entire session thing, and that's Illu. Look here. You're not mama's You're not oh, mama's yeah, favorite. Oh, I'm mama's favorite. <laughs> I will fucking backpack dance all over your grave. That's a backpack dance. Anyway. Uh... Cody was being affected by everyone's emotions, going quite haunch, to put it lightly. So Whisper took him away to haunch. chill out while everyone had frappuccinos. I wish I was making that last part up. I didn't. Yes, you did. You were at the table. Everybody got uh, 20 oh, okay. frappuccinos each. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, during their talks and with Whisper casting cold person on Sir... They decided, yeah, no, now's a good time to go shopping, and went down to the blacksmiths, where they found a message inscribed in the still living blacksmith's chest. A message warning them that pretty much everyone they love and hold dear is now a target. And as soon as it was read, Cody found out it was explosive runes, which blew up the blacksmiths 
and blew up the blacksmith himself. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not supposed to laugh at that. At that point, the Griteths, the Gargoyles, law enforcement to this town, basically came over and arrested the two on the spot of the casting called person. Just as the rest came to see this mess that was happening. And that is where we pick up today. Uh, um, what the hell happened? <laughs> okay. Miss Cody just struggling in the gargoyle's grasp. I'm taking those sounds of defiance as yes. Um, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Um, statues. We are called. Hello. We are called Grissa. Mm -hmm. You were called what again? Sorry, I, I'm bad at it too. Gritta. G R A T E P H. Gritta. Gritta. Uh, how? Why, why do you have our friends in your rather large clawed hands that aren't terrifying whatsoever? Because we have found these two at the scene of the crime as soon as we arrived. Therefore, oh. we can the number one suspects. Okay. Um, uh, first things first, um, why were you guys here? Walking by. Walking by? Yes, what do you think? We just come by and kill people when we wish. Try to visit. Visit who? Him! And then he exploded! Who's him? Points to Blacksmith's body. Trickster, hello. Both of you roll me a wisdom safe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's something. Um. <laughs> Jesus, drinks them cold out. Wow. <laughs> wow. Both of you. It's just I like, what do you need? Um, well, Aloe's been through a lot in the past 24 hours. I could yeah. make a joke over it. But it seems like a joke one of my friends would make, and I'm not going down their route. Uh, so, f your friend um, went kablurry, popped. Uh, oh, I could fix this. I could fix this. Uh, Miss, Mr. Uh, Griffaf? Gr Griff I forgot it. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm bad at names. Griffith. <laughs> it's fine, carry yeah. on. We know that you're addressing us. Okay. Yes, I'm I'm trying. I'm sorry. It's, um uh, I can it, fix should, this. it should be noted at this point. Uh Cody and Whisper, you're being prepared to be transported. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you, well, like clawing the side of whatever transport the transport range is like they had a, they had a yeah. on his chest no you're still a whole person you can't move um before before you take uh, the pillow and the creepy old lady um he's go he's going to look at the group does anybody happen to have like 2000 gold or at least that much in like oils and stuff um or at least like engines or really anything. Uh, well, a thousand gold, but if you want to give me an extra thousand, that'd be nice. Uh -huh. <clears throat> well, I mean, oh. if you're after medical supplies and such, there is always Webster's. Uh, where is Webster's? Uh, My husband looks at the body. He's like, "It's just, hmm. uh, it's just a bit on ahead, just to the east, pretty much number six on the map." Okay, um, it's the local medical office. If there's any oils or something you need for healing or whatever, they'd probably have them. So the new question: If I just take 
a chunk of the body? Is that illegal? It's not necromantic. I can romance nervous, it. Nervous eye shift. Um, I just, it's for juridic purposes. Um, that was an insight on you. They look at you. They look turned. It's like, very well, but uh, I'll go along with you just to make sure. I mean, if you do manage to oh. bring the victim back, Sorry. I will need to ask them some questions, of course, myself. Oh, oh obviously. Um, As for, you're, you're just going to grab a chunk of meat from the charred body. <laughs> until then, uh, he looks over to the other two, who have they've kind of picked up Whisper and Cody, and they've loaded them onto a cart. Still held person, so it's like they just secure it down there. No. Nah. just Walter just turns around. I was like, "Don't worry, we'll tra- we'll transport him over to uh, Tom. A bit more secure there. A bit more secure okay. cells." Uh, um, why would why? Would, uh, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's not been been a word. If they were look that. Blacksmith was a good, a very, very good friend of our friend Trix and me. Why would they hurt him? That's my question. They were with us for um, basically the entire time. And that's the question that well, we've got to get from them as well. But how do you know they weren't just at the wrong place at the wrong time? They, I don't that's believe they would hurt someone. They, that's, I've known Cody for long enough to know that she wouldn't hurt someone like the stuff at the dime of the hat like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cody's still there uh, cursing her head. I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah okay, she could be a bit vulgar verbally, but you know. You, 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 yours is just going to lean over to Aloe and basically just mumble, that's not what Kirby told me. <laughs> It just kind of insight you, uh, me, yes, but... I'm uh, not, I'm sure not exactly... The, yeah, I, probably, I, I, I can roll a, pers- a persuasion if you really want me to, but... Yeah, sure. The that sh- is a... I'm not having good a good day today. Uh, that is a 12. <laughs> yeah, the less sure that they were when they were talking with Yules about this. But it's, it's just okay, it's like, <laughs> don't worry. If it turns out that they are as innocent as you say... The hive mind connection will get to the other two great tefs over there. They'll be able to stop in the tracks and bring them back. Very well. Until cool. then, until then, they'll be, of course, kept on the hold. Um, you know what? That's okay. They might actually do them some therapeutic good. Now that I think about it, um, uh, be careful. Uh, the one bites, and I'm not talking about the one that looks like a pillow. Um. Where is, where is the medical place again? Uh, the medical place is just a bit further on to the east. Just uh, just go around the corner. You can't miss it. It's number six on the map. Uh, Yules starts walking west. <laughs> no, 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 no. He'll kind of reach over, oh. and if you if you allow him, he'll turn you around like 180 degrees. I'm like, no, that's west. East is this way. Oh, okay. You meant west, uh, and he's going to start heading east. <laughs> you meant <laughs> Sorry, that got me. So, I think somebody should go with him. He doesn't seem to have a very good sense of direction. I will. I know the very workings of the land. Oh, wow, I've never seen that crack before. So, who's following who? I'm following, I'll follow Yules. Okay, I'm assuming that Trickstorm and Aloha are also going to follow Yules, because... Yeah. Yules is just carrying Trickstorm's dead boyfriend's exactly. arm. <laughs> so, we'll get to our two little prisoners there in a bit. For now, though, we'll go straight back here. As you head over to Webster's office, you start hammering oh. on the door. Hello. Oh, by the way, hey, um, if this guy matters to anybody, um, and if this doesn't work, um, I can at least give you a hand. A hand? He just sort of waves the arm. 
Just look at this. You'll, you'll always have his army. Um, also, hello? Uh, no response. Is, no, is I'll door, not. Well, I was about to say, is the door open? The door is not open. Uh, you said that you're knocking Kit. over? Yeah. Still no response. Um, is it open hours? Like, what time is it currently? It's what time does this time? Time. I'm gonna kick okay. the door. Not, not trying to kick it in, but they're trying to make a louder noise. Okay. That one worked. <laughs> of course oh, it worked. Yeah. It's just like slight knocking, then slightly louder knocking, and then you just kick the door. I'm not strong, but you know. Oh, no, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, just... I was sleeping. It's, a, it's okay, we have some dude's army. What? It's a bad he time. He rushes forward and you, you just see like a little latch on the front slide open. And tiny little beady black eyes stare out at you all. Uh, surrounded by what seems to be a light brown fur. Um, I don't know. Uh, we, well, he just holds up the arm. Uh, bad pun. Um... We were told by Mr. Batstone uh, Griffith um, that I'm never going to be able to remember that name. I'm sorry. Um, that you could help us with medical supplies and stuff, uh, mostly in the lines for um, a bit of a, well, not resurrection, but a bit of a resurrection, um, uh, kind of, sort of. They just kind of look you up and down. It's like, Oh, a druid, I suppose. Yeah. So a reincarnation, I believe, is the word you're looking for. Yep. We're going to reincarnate this bitch. I do believe I've got the oars, if you've got the gold. Um, he's going to look back at the others. Do you have the gold? No. Mm. <laughs> this is the point to... <laughs> I mean, so you need to scrounge up a thousand between you all at least. Two hundred from I mean, the two hundred from each of us. Hello, does he need two hundred from each of us? Two hundred from each. Well, uh, this I is your boyfriend. I... Don't be a skimpy bastard. <laughs> no, I was I was going to say that seven hundred and eighty-one gold tricks him could hand in all of his. Okay. I mean, you only have 781? Yeah. How did, did you only something? have nearly 2,000? Because Trickstum failed to do their job fully. Oh, oh also, yeah. also because okay. Oni was but never he hasn't really spent money. on anything since. Yeah, uh, who did take Oni's money? Oh, uh, not me. Aloe. It was Aloe. Oh, she took Aloe everything. Oh, yeah. uh, it was how much was that? <laughs> it, it was 1,900. Thousand nine hundred. Yep. That means that Owl has more than enough because thousand nine hundred plus the one thousand one hundred twenty six brings it up to three thousand. I'll In just that case, need. Just um, I'll all. just need uh, fifteen hundred, so I'll do a thousand and five hundred. Uh, okay, a thousand five hundred. Uh, Owl is okay. going to hand over that. <laughs> You'll just like the uh, you're just, just going to uh... like well you do realize the actual uh, price of it comes to one thousand so one thousand five hundred Yes, the five hundreds for me for personal reasons. He's just going to pocket the five hundred. Like cheap being a druid. And he is then going to hand over the thousand and basically say, if you have any Royals doesn't really matter what kind, they just have to be rare, um, any endurance or uh, honestly, really anything that, um, I don't know, you run the store, you know your stock. I know, I you know, know I know, I, I got yeah. the perfect things. He'll, oh, take, sure. he'll take the thousand gold, you'll hear the, you'll see the slide go back over the door, and you'll just see a several locks be unlocked up from the other side as the opposite up. And you see, standing before you, a four-foot-tall otter folk. 
Very well, very well. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Um, oh, you've got the law enforcement here as well. Is this to do with the loud bang I heard? No, um, no. It, it has to deal with the other loud bang that you heard earlier on in the day. Yes, yes, it's that loud bang. He's just going to walk past him. Well, I was going to say I heard two loud bangs, but... But you did hear two loud bangs! Yeah, uh... I'm assuming the first one was, oh, sorry. you know, that over there. And he points to you, what's now just like a smoke cloud instead of the flames billowing up from the docks. Oh, that! Um, yeah. I don't know who could have caused that. Don't know at all. At all. And he's just going to walk on past. Um... <laughs> Just ignoring the entire fact that that exists and he wasn't partaking in any of it and he's very upset, not because it exists, but because he didn't partake in it. He was too late for the party. Uh, very well. Uh, come in, everyone. Come in, come in. I'll, I'll get the oils ready. And he'll start to rush around the shop just grabbing random things off the shelves and be like, is this rare? Is this rare? No, uh... Yes, that's what I'll do. That, oh, that's a good year, that one. Yes, um, uh... uh... By the way, for, um... You lot, you, you lot knew him. What was he like? Like... Personality-wise. Doesn't really matter with the body, but it, it helps if, um... You could tell me what he was like personality-wise. Uh, the ultra focal just looked behind him as you said. I was like, uh, was the victim allergic to anything? Um, just in case. Uh, uh, I don't know, was he? You guys know him far better than me. In fact, no. I never met him. Although he's giving me a hand. That joke's never going to get old. He'll actually walk over at this point and just like, <laughs> inspect the hand and be like, why did this look like the blacksmith's hat? Oh. Uh, Oh. Right, right, only the best stuff. Only the best stuff. <laughs> oh, oh so you, you know him? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, he just play cards quite a bit. Oh, was he a good person? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, he was. That's, That's he was, good. Anyway. Uh, in fact, if I recover, I've seen him going there quite a few times, points to tricks them. Oh! Yeah, quite a lot. Quite a lot! Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... He will quite just... a lot. But not enough to know anything about his personality, right? No, I learnt a lot about him. I mean, judging from the expression that that one's got on their face, I'm assuming that a lot of it's private, if you know what I mean. Wait, what? Not, not you, not you. I know you've yeah. always got a grin on your face, but not you. I meant, <laughs> I meant the, I meant the tiefling. Hmm. Trickster. Please, uh, please, I am much mm. less. I am much less proud of this than I would like to look. No, no, yes, I, I know that I look like I'm always laughing at things. She's empty on the inside, crying. I'm sad. She's very sad. Yeah. If you've got any medication for sorrow, um, it, 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 that would be helpful too. Also, Trixton, um, can I talk with you privately before we do this? Uh, sure. Hang on. Uh, guys, before we carry on, I just need to ask something quickly. Uh, is other stuff coming off of my microphone at this time? No, maybe me, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's just that I've seen like the green bounce on my input audio there. No worries. There was a little the bit. Of, there it, was a little bit of background talk. It's, it's not popping up more though. It's because they've got this uh, Sing TV show on, and I'm worried that if that gets picked up, uh, you know, copyright straight because it's all copyrighted music on that show. It got picked up a little bit, but it wasn't enough to be copyrighted. Okay. Because okay. you couldn't really make out what they were saying, just the fact that people were talking. Okay. So um, I'm going know. through. You know, Sorry about that. So, uh, you've taken tricks them to one side? Uh, yes. And yours is 
uh, kind of lowering his glasses down on his muzzle and looking Trickstum in the eyes. Orkel, you knew this person? Intimately. Oh. Uh, the intimately, like, um, is this going to uh, take one of his three clawed hands, kind of use one finger, and then he's <laughs> going to do that, sort of like through the whole thing? That kind of intimately? Why, why do you need to know this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take that out of the ass. Um, look, Trickstum. This is a very complicated spell. Um, it will still be him on the inside. On the outside, he's not going to look like what he was. Unless you get really lucky and get to your like... <laughs> Well, even then, it still won't look like him. The roulette wheel of races. That is, that is, yeah, that is the curse of incarnate. Uh, of reincarnate. But... <laughs> Even more cursed with the one I put together. <laughs> I need you to uh, be prepared. If he doesn't look like he was, and if you are no longer attracted to that, it is up to you on how you handle it. But I need you to be prepared. Which means, at the end of the day, it's still going to be him. Even if it's a 500 pound uh, person. But you have to be prepared. At this point, the artifact comes running back out, just with all the oils in his arms and a few of the other bits and pieces needed, and just starts slaying them on the floor. But like, I don't know if you need like a circle for this kind of thing or whatever, but Here's all the goods that we got. This should nope. be enough. Perfect. Um, Yours is going to take the rare oils. Um, he's going to take out a drinking bowl from his little satchel, and he's going to pour the rare oils um, into the drinking bowl. And then he is going to instantly down all the oils and as he does, um, he sort of just puts the bowl down, does kind of like a mwah, mwah, mwah. And he's going to take the arm and in just one foul sort of gulp, he's going to gulp down the arm. Ah, that always tastes bad. Well, I, had no idea, I had no idea this is how the spell went. Which one, left or right? <laughs> There's serious <laughs> questions that need asking. Left or right, or? This is. Do serious. you have a favorite arm? Alert. <laughs> oh my. Um, there was one that worked know. better than the other one. Oh my god! I'm going to say. I'm going to say it is the right arm. Oh, it is the right arm. Okay. Um. His his eyes are going to be this very bright emerald green as he's just basically speaking um, in Sylvan um, various just words of power and context, um, which if anybody understands Sylvan, yeah. um, it's basically, okay, I understand, but get your fucking ass down here because if you don't your body's going to be a fucking depressed asshole so get everybody down here okay um and as he does the sort of magical energies from the spell is slowly like uh, almost like a uh digital printer just printing like just slowly reconstructing whatever body tricks them rolls for their fuck body indeed it is time it is time. Oh, boy. It is time. Oh, 63. I can tell you something. This isn't from the best books. <laughs> oh, what is it? <laughs> Let's see what reaction he will have. He will have. He will oh, have. my God. I I wish Dion was here for this because Dion would love what this is going to be. 
<laughs> so, as the energies start to swirl around the concoction of everything, the room starts to light with several eerie glows. And a form starts to appear over the next hour. Looks. Thank God, I thought he was going to shut him out. It's definitely humanoid. And then you see what can only be described as white fur. And then a bit of grey fur. A long rat-like tail. <coughs> and a kind of pointy little snout with wiry whiskers. Oh, he's a rat folk. He's not a rat folk. Oh, he's not. He's not. <laughs> as what can clearly be seen on the front, as it becomes more defined, is a pouch. That's a kangaroo. He's not a kangaroo. Awesome. He is, That's a wallet. He, he is a null, but not a null starting with a G. A null starting with a oh. P. He's basically oh. a possum person. Um, I would like to state that after that body is constructed, Eorles is just going to cough up a very emerald colored egg. He's going to crack the egg over the person and release whatever soul essence was within the egg into the new body as he looks up at Trixim. I don't know if this is right. I don't care. Merry Hanukkah. Wait, that doesn't exist in this world. Merry Cobalt's Day. Um, very key, very key, Demus. <laughs> key Demus. Um, and then he's just going to kind of like snap in front of the face and be like, oh, this is going to be difficult. Um, can you count down from three before uh, opening Eyes. Don't open your eyes until you get down to zero. Also, so I, I count down and then I open my eyes. <laughs> Not you, Trickster. This person. <laughs> <laughs> your eyes are already open. Oh my god, I'm like that! <laughs> oh, also, while we're at it, Trickster. Roll a wisdom uh, save. Nope. Well, hey, that, <laughs> but also what's of evens. Uh, evens. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Oh, oh no. I get to choose the gender. Oh no! <laughs> Trickster? Well? You're lucky. Male. Oh, for you. <laughs> if he just so If he just started to see these bodies on his chest, he'll be there like, get back! <laughs> um. <laughs> So, the blacksmith starts to count down from three. Did you three. tell them to do it in their head or out loud? Or did you not specify? I, I told them to do it in there. I told them I, I didn't actually. So, it yeah. is up to them how they want so, to do it. Upon hearing that, they go, three, two, what the? <laughs> they start to panic yeah. in a new voice. Keep the eyes closed. Keep the eyes closed. It's going to be a bit getting used to. I completely understand. It, it took me a while. Um, but continue counting down. Two. One. <laughs> Opens his eyes. Tiny little pink eyes. Open up. Aww. Aww. Look at that. What, 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 what happened? What, what? Well, you kind of um, died. I, I brought you up. back. Boom. I, yeah. I, uh, and then he closes his eyes again. He's like, I, I, okay, let me just try and get this. Right. I, yeah, take a bit of a breath. It's a lot. I died. All I remember is uh, I was getting ready to set up for the night. I'd locked the door. And then I got a knock on the door. I opened it. Trixton was there. Trixton. Where's Trixton? 
right there. He's, he's over there. He turns around and just looks at you, Trickster, with a mixture of concern and also a little bit of horror. Um, I can promise you that it was not this Trickster because he was with me. I don't know, and sounds, yeah, I don't know. Sounds kind of sus. <laughs> Disguise self. Oh uh, my God, I'll next to you. One more time, ready, source. Right, right next to you. You just say males, but turn the tricks them. Pretty easy to do. Hmm. I'm gonna. I, I, I go up. This is gonna be hey, males wow, because his voice for life. Like, she changes. She changes with the weather. They you know. change into another male tiefling, perhaps. Ah uh, no, that was my only. I'm that right was my only use of the spell for um, the day. Ah. Uh, Tomorrow, maybe. Listen, um, if you want to turn back a day to evening, just pay a, pay a really powerful maid to do this polymorph on you. Uh, I, <laughs> I can eventually do that. Um, still, so can I. Still, yeah. Well, you might get to it before me. But, uh, um, Miss, Mr. Mr. Smith, Mr. Blacksmith, um, first off, you're going to have to get used to doing that with fur now. Um, but so you remember Trickster. Yes. I, I, oh dear God, why am I so fluffy? Oh, um, sorry, 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 sorry. So, I need to try and focus. Uh, I remember letting Trickster yeah. in. <laughs> I let Trickster in. He seemed quite happy to see me. We we're getting ready to have a drink. We had a drink, and then everything started getting very distorted, very lightheaded, and that's the last I remember. What even happened? I didn't uh, have a drink with you. Well, I was going to visit um, you today, but and then I found you all exploded, and I nearly had a mental breakdown. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, Yes, you were, which is why we had to use reincarnate and revivify, because you kind of were all over the place. Um, also, by the way, um, your your shop it's going to need a lot of repairs. I hope the blacksmith knows a carpenter. Um, well, I do, but, but it, still. My, my business, my life business. Why would someone do and this? Um, well, um, we don't know, honestly. That is we don't. Cody and Whisper were carted off before you even found out. Yep. Um, but, um, look, I get it. It's hard. People are weird. People do these bad things. And But death why death. to a hot tiefling? Well, was a hot tiefling. Some people just don't like um, demons, fiends. Tricks them. Excuse me, we're the most, that... we're the most hottest people. Tricks them, dear. Don't rub it in. That, but, um, uh, Mr. Smith, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Web Weber? Weber? Uh, Weber. Web Webster. Webster, Webster. Um, if you both could plug your ears for a second. Um, thank you. Um, he's, he's going to look at you all. To answer your question, it could be a mixture of anything, but it's also probably the fact that you guys probably are some of the uh, have a, of enemies, don't you? Um. Mm -hmm. This being oh. said, I want to know what that I don't. I want to know what that tried to trick me into. <laughs> said, go along with them, help them fight my mother. No, now look where I am. I'm following you around, helping you get out of all your shit situations. That being said, it's probably better. It's more entertaining for the past ten years combined. If now I have to fight a god slayer. That part sounds fun, honestly. Oh, and if you're coming with us, you have to do it too. 
I know, it sounds delightful. It reminds me of the old days. Anyways. What? Wait, what? what? Uh, <laughs> Trickstum. Oh, by the way, you guys can unplug your ears, uh, but Trickstum. Do you yes. think I can hear you asking them to unplug their ears if they already have their ears plugged? Uh, fair point. Um, <laughs> he's, just, he's, go he's going to look at them if their eyes are still open, and he's just going to... Uh, with his reptile mouth that does not form the same formulations that any humanoid or mammalian creature would mouth to them for them to unplug their ears while also doing, uh, like a hand gestures. Um, and he's going to look at Trickstum and he is going to basically be like, okay. I need you to be honest with me. And I know that's hard. You're the kind of person that honesty probably burns like, well, like most things. But were you actually drinking Frappuccinos with us? What are Frappuccinos? Oh, my Lord. The drink I ordered, dumbass. Is it alcoholic? No. Oh, I can have it then. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> the coffee. The, you were on the floor. Coffee. You should have coffee. No fancy names. Tricks him. <laughs> Tricks him. Were you with us? Or were you with the blacksmith? I have to ask because, you know, magic. I wasn't. I wasn't with the blacksmith. I was uh, going to visit him today, actually. Can I roll a absolute? Uh, roll a what, sorry? Can I roll an insight just to double check? Uh, yes. Trick's done. You may roll me a persuasion. Uh, that is a 25 on the insight. Yep, you rolled both. Rolled both. You both rolled quite high. You believe him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Trixum is telling the truth. Um, okay. I believe you. I'm just making sure because magic. I just brought a dude back from the dead. No offense. Yeah, but, you, um, you, I, I watched you bring him Do you back. Do you have an evil twin? Do I have an evil twin? Good question. I have never actually been... Told that I have a twin. Hello, roll me wisdom. Mm -hmm. Oh, goody, wisdom. Oh, fuck, I just remembered, and the thing is, yeah, Yules won't remember Ew. this because Yules won't know. Oh, I just remembered who it is, and Yules won't know. Oh, fuck, character. Hello, does. Is Hello. it Sheriff? Is it? Has a, I have a question about a character. Mm -hmm. Does it have anything to do with that wolf guy that we encountered in the forest? No. No. Okay. No. But I think Rana, Rana got it after I got it. Yeah, Rana, Rana got a good Honestly got it the moment. I honestly got it the moment Lay said another trickstum. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hello. You think back to the arena. You think back to yep. that odd bog beast. The one that was talking to the masters in the mountain. The one that seemingly disappeared into nothing as soon as they exited the arena. You're starting to suspect something. You're th mm -hmm. You think there's a shapeshifter out there somewhere. Specifically, is the term shapeshifter, is there a specific word for this? I believe the word would be changeling. Um, or doppelganger. Uh, changelings are half doppelganger. Uh, doppelganger mm. would be then. I mean, I was going to quickly just took shifts back into your regular form. <laughs> just okay. from behind the <laughs> third. I have. I have ways to find shapeshifters. In fact, I, I, I honestly do. It's 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 a little spell uh, called Moonbeam. Uh, sadly, if you're not a shapeshifter, it's still going to hurt like a bitch. So we need to be quite certain that the person is a shapeshifter. Um, 
Anybody you guys know that's been acting weird? I mean, Crinlock walked back from the ship once they were on the ship helping us. But I think that's just Crinlock. I don't know who Crinlock is, but it just sounds like a jerk. Um... Oh, oh, uh, Mr. Mr. Statue, yes. Mr. Um, you watch everything in the city, right? Yes, we've got eyes everywhere. So you know the people quite well, right? We do. Um, and you're anybody acting weird or or um. Strange lately, because they'd have to... It's, it sounds like it was planned. It would have had to be planned, which means they would have known Trixim was here. Which means they would have been here for quite a while. Aside, um, aside from the boat that came in with... You know, the one that was on fire and now is not on fire. I don't think anyone's been really acting too suspicious from what we've seen, but... You never know if they've been observing this place for quite a while. Maybe no, it's just so this yet. Minutes. Are we going to skip then? Fuck's sake. God damn it. Wait. <laughs> um, um, fuck, I wouldn't know about them. I was going to say the Ninja Guild, um, but they're not here. Yeah, they're in Tomb. Yeah, they're in Tomb. And they're dead, and aren't they? they? I uh, they're they're the, main dead. Uh, the main leader's dead. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them, uh, one of them, well, at least no two of them died. That's the total headcount we have out of character. Um, yeah, Petru and the main leader. But uh, Yules also doesn't know about them, so I couldn't suggest them. Uh, but Yules is kind of going through his mind. <laughs> it's um, it's Petru. Petru's the shapeshifter. Petru, Petru's the shapeshifter. Petru was okay. the master. <laughs> no, I'm uh, back. Welcome back. So, you get after he's Welcome a shapeshifter, he's behind um, everything. Just kidding, he's not. Uh, you, missed the, <laughs> you missed the brilliance of the role and finding out what they became, Dion. Hard no. Uh, yep, they became the possum no. E. So, <laughs> we are actually going to hop over to the other group at the moment. Good, because you all don't know shit at the moment. Whisper and Cody. As you're being carted outside of Turtle Bay Landing and towards Bone Gag. Yep. Up towards Tome. The one well, of the Grittus just kind of stops. Just kind of gets the blank stir and walks over to the other Grittus since there was two with you. Just puts hand on this jolly and be like, I'm sorry for this. And you watch son of a bitch. The rooms spread over this, the other gritter, and he just detonates. I am. Still held. Son of a bitch. Oh. Wait, can I speak? This person only lasts for a minute. Yep. Can I speak? Oh lord, here we go. Cool. Oh, they're casting it repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. They have. Don't they have to make a check then? Mm. Yeah, it's all... I'm gonna say for storyline purposes, if you're fine with this. As long as I can speak, I'm fine with anything. Yep, you're gonna be allowed speech for this. Because this is a different kind of whole person. Hence why Cody was allowed to still have her <laughs> type of rambles um, as she was going on the cart. What the <laughs> fuck? It was you! Um, the long gritter will walk over. <clears throat> just look over at Whisper and be like, Now you could be interesting to read, but no. Walks over to Cody. You, however, this is when Whisper's going to use Desonant Whisper as he approaches Cody. And I'm casting that at level three, which... You're casting it at level three? 
A which is wisdom saving throw. Counter spell. It's counted. <laughs> so, like, Rocket making the surprise Pikachu face finally their spells. I do not turn. even pass my own DC. The worst part is, is, uh, Whisper explodes. Whisper what? gone. Whisper gone. What? Whisper Wait, has what? to get away from themselves, but as you know, that's physically impossible. <laughs> Whisper is a paradox. Whisper explodes. What? Why are you going to go away from it? Oh. The whisper. The whisper. Oh. The dissonant whisper. Hang. Dissonant whisper is supposed to make you run away from the caster. I cast it. He counterspelled. Whisper, as we know, out of character, can physically not run away from themselves. No, counterspell that is counter within the world it is a like paradox. That's not how counterspell works. Counterspell yeah. only cancels the spell. It doesn't cast it uh, back. Yeah. It doesn't Can't just like it's not, Don't worry. That was some yeah, weird wording for a name, then. Also, also, you do not explode. You just, if you can't run, you don't run. You cry. You um, call up, curl up and cry. I'm sorry. You, I, you, I'm still loving the idea of that. It's just like, counter spell. It's just... Explodes. Explodes. We're just confetti everywhere. What just happened? <laughs> like the... It's like the the, the little uh, party thing, the little thing you blow into, and it goes. That's <laughs> so, the figure that you thought was Gritta so like walks over to Cordy. Now, I've been told you're the one, the leader of this whole group. She's snarling. Like. <laughs> no, no, no. She'll be little coach again, by the way. She'll be little again. Yep. Now that she's away from the group. And he will place a hand. On your head. And his eyes will go blank. As you feel your mind being invaded. Wisdom I whisper said, to Cody. And I am using a bardic inspiration. Yep. Which is a 1d8. So that is a... Uh... There's just there's just a bunch of do- there's just a bunch of dancing dometers inside of her head just going like, Hello! <laughs> so, I... That's- I'm adding uh, that right fired, away. Fired. Yep. So, it's enough to not make you go screaming out in pain, but you can definitely feel your mind being probed. <laughs> as, the figure, as the figure just chuckles. Oh, so Actually, many wait. Code, uh, write these down as well. <laughs> just so you have them. <laughs> so many memories. Cody. Trickstum. Samara. Oni. Pixie, Crinlock, Petru, Ix, Aloe, <laughs> Miasma, Take your up. Grace. Quite literally, I'm having to go down the list of all the people. Okay, give me a second. Una. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, say, they say to just rattling off every name. No, she's just there like, who the fuck's Grace? <laughs> Doesn't even remember. <laughs> that, would, that would explain why it was just a blurry outline of them. Just a name. As they let go of your head. Oh. The master will be pleased with this information. I oh. really care, your master, nor what they do. I'm going to make you rebel. Is touching myself count as um, touching a willing creature? It would be if you were touching yourself. Well, technically, I guess you are touching yourself even if you have to. <laughs> my hands are down by my yeah. side. I'm just like, freedom of movement. No, I don't know if that... I, yeah, no, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. So, as you're doing that, the figure chuckles. As the form shifts before you, Cody, into yourself. Oh, I don't think so. In you fact, think that it'll worry me, but it really doesn't. Oh, no, I know what will worry you. An early bath. And it just punts the cart that you're on and sends it careening towards the river. <laughs> so. 
You uh, are casting freedom of movements on yourself. And running after that cart. <laughs> okay. Cart. So, the figure just chuckles text. as you go chasing after the cart. As it runs I'm the throwing my direction. cleaver backwards. Ah, oh, that's a miss. Oh well. It's okay. I know need it anyway. Oh. That's a good job because as soon as you throw it backwards, even though you don't see it, you quite clearly you just hear the figure go, Yike! God damn it. <laughs> um, Lee? Yes. Would you allow me to make a strength save? Strength check or save? I, to I will do. Or not I will do. To knock give... my bag of tricks open. To knock your bag of tricks mm -hmm. open? Yep. Okay. I was going to let you do it anyway because the spell would be weakened at this point with it being distracted and running off. But if you want to try it that way, go for it. Whisper, so you do catch up in time. Thank you. Strength, strength save. A strength save it would be. Cool. Given that you are fighting against something to do so. Yes. The only shit. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think the only way you're going to fail that would be in that one. Um. So, I'll roll 1d3 to see how many of the little balls run out. Yep. Like, fall out. Slash r 1d3. Three. Three. So all Four three three. of them come out. Okay. Let me roll a d8 three times. So, two giant hyenas burst forth, and so does a black bear. Oh yeah, I forgot oh. about. I forgot this is what the bag of tricks was. So, <laughs> whisper. Is your rushing after this card to catch up? You're about to do so. <laughs> And there are also two hyenas and a black bird just appear out of nowhere. I'm I'm sorry. I am very sorry. But I'm grabbing the cart regardless. <laughs> that is fine. Like, Stop the cart! Stop the cart! So the giant hyenas and the bear are going to try and stop the cart from moving. Uh, I'm going to say, Miasma, you grab hold of the middle of the cart from the back. The hyenas kind of, Not Miasma. Uh, with just, uh, the two hyenas kind of grab hold of the wheels, and the black bear races around the front to get to take the brunt of the force to stop the cart mm -hmm. from moving just before it manages to get to the water. The bear does go into the water just like with the last nudge it falls in, but the cart doesn't. And you are freed from hold. Cody just sits up like, ha! Ah, ha! Ah. And jumps off the car. And I, you know, I just really want to do this, even though everybody else isn't here. But I'm not going to. Seven hit points for Cody, because I can't remember how many. Oh yeah, we took, but yes. I remember damage. Yes, from the explosion. I remember Dabblage. It's all I have a trivial brain Dabblage. I'll just kind of walk up to the hyena. I hear their button, Lou. I get that reference. And then go over to the to the black bear and said, "Just say your name's Coda." I also get that reference. <laughs> so, actually, Lay. Yes. There was no way she would have failed, even with the nat one on that throw. Nat ones are always a fail. Even if Bardic Inspiration backs it? Yep, yes. nat ones are nat one. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, no, that's that true. Oh, that's true. true. Yeah, nat one. So. You're somewhere, you're pretty much halfway between Bongeg and Turtle Bay Landing at the moment. Those stats were back at the healer shop you ought to see the grit f that was with you just double over in pain uh, um uh, uh hold on um are, are you, you okay uh i'm 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 just slapping a, a, a lesser restoration on him just to help with the pain yep. hello As a, 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 
the rules is just gonna less restoration to help with the pain. Um, uh, um, you, you're okay. Uh, I think I found out who were the imposter. Um, I'm I'm guessing it 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 it, it uh. It was one of the two with the cart, and they destroyed one of our brothers. Uh, I can't say what happened afterwards because our connection was severed, but... Well, hold on. It, it was one of the two on the cart? No, it was one of the two with the cart. One of the one of the me's. I, I have a question. You're a hive mind, right? Yes. They tapped into... Did it not... Oh, okay. I, well, sorry then. Sorry, I was a bit harsh of me. I apologize. You're in a lot of pain. Oh, um, which way did they go? They went outside the village. Um, just, just, do you have to... North, south, east, west. Towards Bongek. Skyward. Towards Bongek. Okay, perfect. Um, He's going to look uh, and around and um he's just going to get a sort of like okay well um how many people does this actually affect because we need to go incredibly fast don't we yeah we do okay um any of you got any spell like phantasmal food um if not that's okay i'm going to Go ahead and just. Oh, I might. Don't just mounts up on the click clack. In the meantime, Cody would just be there, like. All right, Whisper, you get on Bud, I'll get on Lou, and we're gonna ride back. <laughs> Why do that? How about we ride back like an army, and I'll just dimension door teleport behind you with a different pose every time. <laughs> Wait, Starts so dimension I, dooring. Ask a trick question. <laughs> do you know what um, the funniest part is? Oh. Technically, Trickston could do the same on the opposite way because Trickston has dimension dooring <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> Just meet up dimension dooring in the middle. Oh, Jesus. Dimension Hello? door back to each other. <laughs> Whoa. And then continue. <laughs> Yeah, and they're just like, no, wrap each other's arms and start skipping. And so every time we come through the dimension door, it's just a different phase of the skipping. I'm, so, I'm just imagining, the way I've seen it is, you're all like riding there, just epically. And in the background, it's basically the equivalent of that White Stripes video, the hardest button to button. <laughs> it's just like appearing randomly, just dun, 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 dun. <laughs> No, we have a temp we have a little bit more of a tempo, so I think of Seven Nation Army. Dun 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 <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> Every time we land is a different tone. <laughs> riding on Bud and then like Coda and the Bla and Blue are just following behind. So those that are in the town, are you racing outwards? Yes. Yes. Um a hundred percent for some reason. I thought I had long strider. I apparently do not. I'm gonna cast that. Cast has a myself. Still. I'm hearing some people getting at it, but it's not me. Yeah, it is it's not me. me. It's okay. I, I apologize. It's okay. So, as you all race outwards, uh, everyone make me a perception. Perception. Me? Yeah, including you and Whisper. That was a nineteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seventeen. Oh. Okay. With Six. No. Uh, <coughs> Santa, yes. Trickster, yeah. Basically, you just need above a ten. So, tr Whisper's the only one that doesn't. Tr Whisper's too caught up in doing the hardest button to button. Or the Seven Nation Army, should we say. Seven Nation Army. So On the kalimba, I'm just like... Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> just teleport right past everybody. Yep. So, those that are racing from the cart, you can see the small group racing up ahead from Turtle Bay Landing. Those from Turtle Bay Landing, you see what appears to be a blinking figure chasing someone riding on a hyena, while a second hyena and a bear races by their side. 
insight. <laughs> Roll an insight. Uh, I mean, I'm just I'm just going to use telepath just to telepathically be like, hello. That is a. Um, just, that is another. That is another. No, it's an eighteen. You just get back like ah. <laughs> yeah, you're just like squinting as you look at this, Miasma, and then you hear Cody's screams coming. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's oh, that that's Cody. Makes sense. Um, and I imagine the one that's puffing in and out of existence is Whisper. Um, Maybe. I've nailed it. Yeah. How many? How many I've animals practiced enough. <laughs> oh, sorry. How many animals do you have again? Uh, the full party. No, no, no. With them. Oh, three. 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 Okay. Cool. I was just making sure. That is the amount that you we said. Just double checking. So you all eventually do meet up as you race up. Cody and Whisper they look a bit blast worn, but they don't look too injured. Most uh, of the stick has been Cody brushed Whisper, off of my dress. The rest of the party they seem kind of they seem kind of shocked, especially tricks them. Why do you all have that stupid look on your faces? Well, I don't have any look on my face. It's literally a lizard face, which means the only look that I can have is the pissed off look on that. <laughs> look. Um, yeah, but, I, don't know what, I don't know why you're asking me that. Um, what's with the bear? What bear? Friends, this is Bud. The one that she pets, the one that she's riding on. That one's Lou. Gives him a head scratch, and that's Coda. Okay. Um, where's the shape shifting buddy? Disappeared. Fuck. Well, he couldn't have gone too far, I'm guessing. Either no. back here or the next town over. They had us in some weird hold spell, so we couldn't really hit him. They tried to push Did me it did it run or did it teleport? Just kind of vanished. Mm. So teleport. And it also... Well, so out of character, would Whisper know that it was reading her mind? Was uh, in my head? You would know. <laughs> <laughs> there you uh, have it. <laughs> Cody knew. Okay. <laughs> Cody knew it was happening. I want to use. Well, actually, I'm going to ask first. Um, um, you don't mind if I take a peek? I'm not going to look at anything. I'm just going to make sure that uh, they didn't leave anything. I don't like the idea of other people in my head. Y yes, but if they were in your head. They could have left something, which means, therefore, they could have, like, a mnemonic word or, or some sort of thing that would allow them to control you or continue to infest your mind or corrupt or really anything. Um, it'll be really quick, I promise, and I won't look at anything. Um, I just until purple friend is saying, do it or die. No, no, I'm not. So what? I'm saying it will defeat the risk, and if they have messed with anything, I can at least tell you what they've messed with. Okay. And if I release any of the secretive information, you can cut off my tail. Ooh. Does that sound like a fair trade? Yeah. Okay, cool, because I'm casting Detect Thoughts. Um, okay. And I, I don't need uh, really to do anything because I'm already telepathic. So, um, and I imagine Cody has above a, th a three for intelligence. So I'm just looking through the surface of the thoughts. Um, through 
basically what's currently on her mind, which I imagine would probably be the individual and what the individual looked at. Is there any abnormalities? Um, anything that seems out of character for Cody or anything that seems touched by another individual? The only things that you get are that someone's been looking through Cody's history. But only since they arrived on the island. And on top of that, the only other thing that seems weird is everything seems to be in a Fleischer cartoon style. Yeah. <laughs> because That's that awesome. is... Um, yours, will, yours will take off his glasses um, as he's just kind of looking through the thoughts. Oh. This explains a lot. Um... What is important about being on the island? They didn't go further back. Why? Are you speaking He's, out he, loud? Yeah, he was speaking out loud. He's just kind of like looking through. Well, there's mm -hmm. the thing that we're supposed to be getting. What are you getting? He's going to blink, exiting her mind. Well... A tool, weapon, thing of some kind that destroys gods? Yes, the very tool that is currently in the hands of your enemies? The pretty yeah. much, yes. Well, I wouldn't call them my enemies. I really don't see many people as enemies until they give me a reason to. They if they were trying... Oops, sorry. Yeah, they were talking about their master. The weird one. The one that look was digging through my head. Yes, Aloe's arena monster. Um uh -huh. we have a problem. He's kind of twirling his glasses around with his three claws as he's kind of thinking. What have you done on this island so far? A lot. So why would they do that? What? Look into your mind. What information do you hold that they don't already know about the island? Nah. Wait a minute. If they've, been, <laughs> if they've been watching you and they've been seeing everything, why would they do that? What do they... Well, if I recall correctly, it would be all the way back to the tournament... <laughs> Whisper was creepily watching you all from a distance. She would have, I, out of character, pretty sure she would have seen the people with the head and sword leave. Uh, actually, um, was the bug if, I was that, if, was if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, Whisper actually failed to see the bog beast. Not the bog beast. Oh, oh you, you, you're people. talking about the champions. You're talking about the I'm champions. Talking, yes, I'm talking about them leave with the sword because that would be something that we have done. And I know the bog beast would have seen them, but he doesn't know where they are going. And they probably told Cody where they were going. Uh, the champions with they're, the sword. They're off. They're off island, yes. and the bad guys already know they're off island. They also weren't oh. in the arena. Oh, they weren't. Okay, no, they, they were. They were, they were, were at the funeral. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So X would. X would know. It would only be X. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Together, what you read on the blacksmith's body with what's going on. What did what? What did you see with the blacksmith? Magic. First off, magic. Uh. Kinda. He had like some where he had the stuff carved into his chest, and she kind of pulls out the note and shows them because she copied it down before it blew up. <laughs> the note blows up. <laughs> oh, um, I know, I'm joking. What what does it say again? It's something said, about killing everyone. Yeah, the note said something along the lines of, "You have made yourselves a target, and in doing so, you have made a target of your friends and loved ones." Expect us to target them just as much as we would target you. 
bruh. Make you <laughs> suffer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if yes, Mr. Segway. Jokes up. I don't have anyone here anymore. <laughs> um. Well, and half the people on the list that he got from Cody's head are either off island, have disappeared in another dimension, or dead. <laughs> True. This is like it's a very short <laughs> list here. The party. Um. Oh fuck. But at this, I do oh, have to bid you all a fond farewell. Samara and her people are still on the island. What? <gasps> Shit. We are rude. I just found out about that. They're still on the island. Samara bones and all of them. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Samara got teleported yeah, they're ages the away. Oh, okay. Hey, so, okay. Uh, <laughs> they are the island. Okay, never mind then. Um, in that case. No, but there's just a number of other people. To be fair, Cody didn't really know Samara that well and probably wouldn't really consider her a friend because of that. Uh, didn't she get to know Samara that well. Yeah, she knew her for a very short amount of time. Yeah, but also in the fact that Samara is also doing a quest for the gods, I just started thinking about that. But, um, um, okay, well, step one, find your loved ones. Step two, hide them in a box. Step three, ship the box off land. Step four, don't panic. Step five, don't panic. Step six, I really wanted to use Moonbeam on them. Step seven, don't panic. Also, bye, Raka. Oh, did Raka leave? Yeah. Oh, Raka, no. Raka was for a while. Yeah. Rebecca. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Raka's doing a drive now, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to Rhode Island. Yes. Yay. So, it takes a while after you're all conversing before one of the Gritsefs finally catches up with you. Oh, oh, thank God, you're both safe. Yeah. No thanks to you. Uh, in his defense, he did tell us that he somehow tapped into his mind as well. They tapped into the sure. hive mind. We it couldn't tell them apart. That easy for some random stranger to infiltrate your hive mind and make you think he's one of them. To be fair, I, this I is mean, the first time this has happened. Also, I mean, it, it's not that hard. It's a shapeshifter, that thing, by the way, and it looked exactly like me. Exactly like you? Yeah. He's just holding his hand up, just uh, like a beam of silver energy. <laughs> just like, are you, or are you? Oh, no, wait, I already read your mind. Uh, Alof. Putting the silver beam away. Alof, roll me his perception. Perception. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see what you get. Uh, how's it come through yet? Hello? Yes. Okay, just make sure because it went silent. Then Hello. We're waiting for Rana's roll. <laughs> I, I said 15. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. You didn't come through that. So, you're looking around at the party. Almost everyone is here. Crinlock isn't, but Crinlock's still in their room. Even like Ego and Sir Ego's here, Click Clack's here. One person's missing. Yeah. <laughs> Worse, sir. Um, Aloe's now just going to look around even more so. Hi, right, sir. Sir? He was over that way. I take it you're generally pointing in the direction. Yes. That you left. Aloe's going to go that way. <laughs> yep, she point she's basically pointing back to Turtle Bay. 
So I Jewel, was going back to turn away. Jewel, head back to the alleyway where they left that, so there's no sign of him. It's not like him to stay gone this long. Everyone investigation checks. Oh boy. Including Allo, yes. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. that's a good 19. 19 again. Okay. Let's see what the rest are all. 12 for a Cody. Cody's... 22. Okay, and Trickster? Yeah. Uh, investigation. I know, you're so... I know you're very distracted with the idea now that you're going to be able to shack up with a... Uh, Basically a giant right, possum, awesome. but yeah, that makes sense to be fair for that night. Uh, yeah, you don't find anything, Cody. You don't either. Everyone else, as you're looking around, you do find a note. A note. Yep. Well, you you didn't see it, Cody. You got a twelve. Yeah. But uh, miasma allo. And Yules would have seen that. Is it a Bella Rad Sumerdog? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is it another ransom note? Sorry, I yawned when I was trying to say that. I mean, it is late at night. You all should be getting your rest, but still. You. I don't know. Are you going to read the note? Yes. Yeah. What's, it, what's a what now? You turn around to see him picking up a white note and opening it up to read it. Ah, careful it doesn't explode. <laughs> Dex <Dexters. laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, the last note I read that, exploded. That was, that was a 20 anyway. <laughs> no, not the dirty 20. Yeah. Luckily you didn't waste the nat 20 on a short then. So as you read the note, it just basically states to the small kobold. <laughs> Thanks for the look. Thanks for the fairy dragon. I'm pretty sure Damada would love such a thing. Well, that's another person on our shit list. Damador was already on. I, well, I whoever would... stole the, the fairy dragon in the first place. One of Dam one of Damador's goons. Yeah, oh, that goons on our shit list. Nope, go on. That uh, the bottom of it would probably have a runic symbol of a serpent um, beneath a tree. And that symbol will explode into a set of serpents. Actual real life snakes exploding from the paper, just shooting everywhere. Um, it's not I trying to bite everybody, but just shooting into people. Okay, uh, Viaspa, make me a deck safe. No, I'm okay, I'm not 30 20. I, like, <laughs> I rolled a deck safe I'll, for opening this. Thing. I'll allow it, I'll allow it, given I said that was a deck safe beforehand. So you can just kind of drop the nose as you see something glowing. You prepare yourself nope, for an nope, explosion, nope, nope, but, nope. It's, but instead it just erupts with snakes. Is it just going to start to sliver down the back alley? Okay, actually, I'm oh, not afraid of snakes, so don't worry about that. Snakes. What's that? No, no, she's like, no. Nobody wants to try and grab one snake. Uh, make me an athletics. <laughs> I'm just basically going to have to roll this on the points on the snake thing rather than any giant thing because I, actually it'll be amazing because the snakes are not lethal um yeah but it's nice to it for an attack and warrior i need to roll it on the decks through an acrobatics to try and escape the oh yeah it actually does <laughs> back here just kidding i'm not going after them oh, grab one what sorry Co cody keeps trying to grab it <laughs> yeah. uh, anyone else go try and grapple one? Okay, you know what? Fine, I'm mm, sure. Roll the athletics. 
turn. Okay, for your turn, it also <laughs> manages sick. to get out the grasp. 19. That's a minus <laughs> one. Um, I got a minus, I tried again, got a minus one. Uh, no, I'm just laughing at that, where it's like, you roll, you roll a 10, they roll a 9 to get out the grasp. Allo rolled a 19, they roll a 10. Allo just picks one up, just grabs it tight. Uh, I would like to say Allo probably looks very, very upset and probably very, very intimidating. The minute uh, that it is picked up, its head will snap and as it, uh, its eyes will stare straight into Allo's. Oh, yeah. Hello. Have a dear. Cody will run up and bap it on the nose, going, No, that's needle boop. <laughs> needle boop. All right. No. Don't hurt the messenger. They're sweet little snakes after all. But don't worry. You have neglected your friend. You've forgotten them. One of the eyes of the snake is actually moving to the side and looking straight at Cody and Whisper instead of Aloe. Leaving them on the streets, all alone in the darkness. Not the brightest move when you have so many enemies. The thrive on the shadows. Oh, but it's fine. Just another one for the collection. Right, my dear Aloe. Give Sir back. <laughs> no. But you know what? I know a particularly disgruntled individual with a god slaying weapon that might like a little pet dragon. Oh, I was going to grit her teeth, glaring at the snake. No one likes your grandpa stories, and no one likes your grandpa threats. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm no, but everybody certainly head. loved my joke. I had to make an example. An example was made. Not enough respect was being shown. Yeah. Like but it's you okay. Respect. You really don't. Mm. You're in stone in the bottom of the abyss. <laughs> no wonder mama cast you out Oh don't you worry Don't you worry about my feelings with mom Because one might say Mama I'm coming home Yeah good luck finding her Who did just squints and goes Why did you blow up the blacksmith that wasn't me. I actually kind of liked him. Pretty easy on the eyes, am I right, Trickster? Uh, you know, I'm not entirely sad sure that what's happened to him. This. The fact that you're doing, you've done this, or the fact that this, we're hearing a snake talk about how the blacksmith was attractive, and also the fact that he's, uh, you know, snapped his neck around. Yeah, that's true. It's quite, it's quite flexible. Mm. But anyways, Video. I'm going to... Everyone knows you're a cunt. Bye, <laughs> YouTube monetization. It's fine. We're one hour 30 minutes in. It's fine. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, the first I'm... word he heard was yeah. boobs, so, you know... <laughs> I'm quite certain that I am... Um... A cunt, as you put it. But at least I'm not some mindless puppet working for the wills of some selfish and rather hypocritical gods. I don't care about the gods, nor their whims. 
I'm doing this for me at this point. And I'm coming for you. Because, brother, you don't deserve to live no more for what you've done. Oh, so I've given you motivation. Not quite motivation. Well. <laughs> let us let the curtains open for this beautiful show. I'm going to drag you to the name ears and let them tear you apart. Oh. You haven't been home. No. But I know that my kind never die. No. But it is chaotic. And it is beautiful. Well, yeah. That's what we're built for. <sighs> but at the end of the day, I'm just going to continue to have fun. By the way, and I just really want to state this, Una. Yeah. Have you done something different with your hair? The sigil's a bit harder to see. She kind of just starts petting her. It's like, no. Oh, just curious. If you mean if you mean that like that, no. Then a uh, a new friend kind of helped. I just realizing that sounded bad, but I mean like the belly fair. <laughs> Either way. Oh, that's wrong. That is really wrong now that I think about it. It is. Either way, Domitor, we're coming for you. Right after we're done with this job. And, well, I'm going to kill you myself. That's it. That's all that needs to be said here. You need to return, sir. Uh, you and feel... then we'll come for you. Uh, as this has been going on, Cody, you feel a presence come up behind you. She turn. Uh, there's a large uh, a po there's a large possum stood up, stood behind you, just start, just like itching themselves. It's like, how do you manage with this much fur? Why are you talking to Why are you talking to a snake? No reason. Hmm. You are. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, it makes sense that you might recognize me. I'm the blacksmith. Oh, yeah, we were coming to visit you when uh, we found your body. Yeah, apparently they were holding you because they thought you did it, but it's good to see that you all got out. Anyway, um. He'll kind of just walk up to the snake, just stir at it, and like, Listen here, I've only got eyes for one person, and that's Trickstum. You won't even stand a chance. Don't challenge him. Why, who is it? I mean, it's <sighs> a snake. Dead brother. Oh. Oh, oh. Something serious. They just back away with their hands up, like, I'll let you all carry on. Uh, you, however, uh, Cody, I believe it was. Yeah. Come see me in the morning. I might have something for you. Yes. I was coming to see you for some magical shit. Ooh, magical shit. Yeah. So that creaking noise was me adjusting myself on my shirt. I wanted to get a bit, you know, be able to fight better. Magical shit, a.k.a. why Infernal spends a lot of the time on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a one hell of a time to come in. Oh, no, they've been in here for a bit. No, 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 I know he was there, but he just never said anything. I was like, hi, Zach, and he's no response. <laughs> Should we take a moment to realize... Blacksmith now has an extra limb to do blacksmithing duties with because the yeah. possums have opposable tails. 
Yeah, yeah but he doesn't re he doesn't know how to work it yet. <laughs> Just think of all the stuff he can do once he figures out how to use it. Wait, what, wait a minute. Why does he have pouch if he's a male? What? I don't think male. I don't think male possums. Because I had to think male. of something to say because people thought it was a rat folk. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go. Uh, I know possums have pouches. Pouch. Kangaroo. No, not a kangaroo. <laughs> Kangaroos don't have rat-like tails. Anyway. So. The snake just kind of stares at you all. Mr. Domino lets us Mr. Thomas chuckle. Ex yes, but I'm just leaving by. Could you not hear me? Oh, sorry. Mm. No. Oh, okay. That explains a lot because I was basically saying that Snake's just shaking its head as the conversation switches, looks up at Aloe and is just basically like, you all are fucked. <laughs> And then he just sort of melts away into, like, green energy. Keep an eye. Mm. I think that man should keep an eye on his shoulder. Over his, I think that man should keep an eye over his shoulder. Considering that, well, he said that that predator said they're going to come after us and all that we love. And, you know, we tricked him. Well, I mean... As far as they're all concerned, he's the blacksmith's still dead, so... Um, How long do um, you think they'll know that for? Yeah, good point. I mean, if you... If you die again, I can reincarnate you again. I can probably do it to you about a uh, hundred more times. I'm not entirely sure if uh, there's a point that I can't do it to you anymore. But uh, fact of the matter is... I would rather that you don't do that. Uh, the spell tastes disgusting. It looks horrid. And although you ended up on the better end of the stick, being a fluffy pillow person, um, don't die again. Una just kind of looks around and like, okay, but I think the first thing we need to do is rest. Who needs sleep? Sleep is for the week. I've had 20 fucking... Cappuccinos. That explains why you're unable to stand still. Mm, I'm standing still. The world is vibrating. Ella is probably not in a sleeping mood. She's probably in what? a angry oh. tinker mood. So she's probably going to want to do something instead. You you could teach you could help uh, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, I uh, learned how to blacksmith with uh, his new body. What? With his tail? <laughs> that would be amazing. Also, we need to fix. Uh, Elle's probably going to head, actually, to the blacksmith. A, to help repair, and B, for other things. And his okay. limits, and the fact that he's now also got fur, and that fur can light on fire, which means he could be in uh, a, 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 a cobra, not a, what is it? A possum, a, a possum kebab. And you don't want that. Um, by the way, I would highly su suggest staying away from uh, um, um, anything that starts with an M and ends with an A. It just ends up killing you. Um, but yes. Una will just look over it. I'm going to go get some rest, but I'm also going to try and put together a list of anyone that could be a target. Um, she'll kind of look at the blacksmith and goes, using your tail's easy. And she just kind of picks up a rock. With her tail. Cody has a tail? He has a tail. Yeah. He, has a tail. He, he tries, but he's struggling. It's like... Tiefling just, tails are normally not this dexterous. Yeah, well just think of it like an arm. Not a tail. Try, try and like hang off the banisters with your tail. Like do vampire sleep or something. Also, by the way, you got him. I want to send them a note saying, hey, sorry, uh, mom, but um, I'm, you can't use I gave birth to you on me anymore because technically now, I'm your mom. Um, 
Okay. Anyway. <laughs> that <laughs> conversation. Cody's going to attack the thing where she hangs upside down by her tail. Okay. Uh, I would believe this would be a athletics. Because Cody has a prehensile tail. Yeah. Given you're not trying to bounce places, but you just try to do something. Yeah. Her ears just flopping down like. <laughs> he just kind of looks at this and slowly but surely he shifts a try. He manages to hold himself for a little bit before falling. Build up them butt cheeks. I'm Build up them butt cheeks. <laughs> I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it. Yeah, you just gotta keep practicing. I, I could polymorph you into a a possum, and that way, like you could you you could learn as a possum, and then that's when you become a person again. Uh, you could already know how to do it. I mean, that is one way, I guess, if the memories carry over, but. I don't think a possum can learn how to repair a blacksmith shop, so I think I'm going to have to remain as myself for now. Yeah. Because well, as, should... as much as I would love to get used to using this tail, I think we need to focus on rebuilding that first. Yeah, you need to... I think that little... That then... is some very bad stuttery internet you have there, my friend. What? <laughs> You're cutting in and out. Yeah. Uh, I hate the internet. You're not doing it anymore. Okay, I was saying, just pick up little things and try to pick up bigger things over time. Yeah, just work my way towards it, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just little bits at a time. Like, I can do this. And she just picks up drops down from, like, being upside down and just picks up her hammer with her tail. That's how it's to get. You just get a smile and just like, hmm, I guess it would help with smithing if I could do that. Of course, <laughs> I'm going to have to be careful with fire and fur, you know. Oh, burnt fur smells horrible. But I'm resistant to fire, so that's not a problem for me. And I've got sails! As nice as this is, I would recommend that we actually start to work towards, you know... Sleep? No. We should work towards finally going to the mountain. But, but, bedtime. But after bedtime, but that's what we should be doing as next. We should, we need to stop these constant attacks and framings and everything. Well, she, yeah. But she is correct. Er, prepared and not rushing in. Mm. We'll, do, we'll take tomorrow to prepare, and if we're all done, and then when we're done, then we'll move. Yeah. There's one issue I probably should bring up before we do that. Mm. What is it? If it's a shapeshifter we're dealing with, that's yeah. messing around with us all. Yeah. How are we going to be able to trust any of us if we even part from the team for a little bit? Um... Uh I am telepathic. Uh, um, he can read our minds, remember, Cody? Oh, shit, I can read minds, too. Oh, fuck. Um, he has to touch us to read our minds. I don't. He does. Yeah, but that's, that's why I'm saying you can know it's me. I can literally show you my mind. Yeah, but I'm saying we could have, like, a password. So unless he touches one... Brain tango. Yeah, password. Um, well, what's our pa Well, we probably... Oh, this is hard. What is our password going to be? Bungle Knuckles! Something easier to remember. <laughs> Please. What? What? What were that, no, what were it that you said? What? Because I know you said bumper knuckles, it was something a bit more simpler than you said something else. I, I heard iguana. No, I said bumble knuckles. Bumble knuckles? Okay. 
I said bungle knuckles and then bungle. shit squad. Okay, we should do shit squad. <laughs> shit squad will probably work better. Um, we're, bring, we're bringing it back. The other thing, the other thing is, uh, well, for you, obviously, you have your hammers. Uh-huh. And they have to be attuned, correct? No. Okay, never mind then. Um, they just magical hammers. Don't you have to be a specific strength to hold them on? I don't think so. I no, you, you do to dual wield. Like, to hold, like, heavy weapons, yeah. Like, um, but Cody's got 20 strength, so... Well... Yeah, no, Shit Squad will work. Um, that, and um, he's just going to uh, kind of you uh, shocking grasp, but like with his hand in front of Miasma's face. I noticed this earlier. <laughs> uh, that's her. It's not her. It's not her. Yeah, um, wisdom save, Miasma. Wisdom save. <laughs> uh, two, two, so that would be a three. <laughs> as soon as you just like do the light shocking grasp in front of Miasma's face, Miasma just kind of clings to the nearby building wall. <laughs> so, that's how we know. Um, I honestly don't know. Um, if me, I can open my mind to you without having to touch you. Um, I, I know an easy way of how to that, tell. I know an easy way of how to tell tricks and tricks them. Una just pulls out what seems to be a drawing of a female tiefling, just holds it in front of Trickstum. Ew! There you go. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's easy to fake. We also don't know if our enemy's uh, gay as well. Um, uh, that's true. Uh, you, I was going to say, you, you see me as with this king dog murder a, curse, a, str- a string of curses and a um, plus common and sylvan. <laughs> uh, yours is going to use talk with animals. Um, and he's going to look down at breakfast. I need you to do me a favor, fluffy pillow. If the one holding you is not tricked him in any way, bite them. Breakfast notes. Cool. Tricks. Oh, Oops, sorry. Sorry if you were saying something. No, carry on. Trickstem, if in any way that is not breakfast, you're fucked. Breakfast. Who just, just raised the like, well, the easy way to tell if I'm me or not is, uh, well, no one's gonna like this idea, but get out the magic thing. Magic thing? Oh, the one. Yeah, the outburst I get. I don't think that can be mimicked that easily. No. No, but I can also read your mind. So I won't have to do that. But everybody else will, and that'll be freaking hilarious. Uh, I like, I can read your mind. You read Uno's mind. It's just one of those symbol banging monkeys. <laughs> Jump over. Um, Whisper is Whisper. Uh, Allo. Yeah, there's no way they're getting that innocence. Um, and Krenlock's just depressing. So. Krenlock would just need to show him Cody. Yeah, basically. So there we go. Nobody can take us. And if they do, he's just going to hold his hand up and just silver it, forming on it. I can cast Moon Blue. You're, You're really waiting. Too- yeah. Uh, okay, it's, it's, it's memories, memories. Who the race is a brow, then looks the rest of it. Well, I'm gonna go to bed then. Mm. Uh, so what are you lot doing? Who's staying to fix and who's doing what else? Oh, I'm going to bed. 
Podial health shop. Okay. Knowing Aloe, Aloe's probably already started. I'm going to say Whisper's going to help as well, just purely because Whisper feels a bit bad about helping it blow up. Uh, Trickster and Eels, what are you two doing? Eels. He be still staring at the blacksmith. Yul's is going to look up a tri- look up a trickstem. Uh, on the bright side, I still got it to the fact that they're humanoids, so it's not technically bestiality. Um, but if you got any issues, or if he has any issues, you know, um, just give me a call, okay? I mean, there have been weirder relations in the past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's D and D for God's sake. Um, and Eels is going to walk off away from the tavern. Okay. So uh, everyone, you watch as Eels walks the opposite way from the tavern. Where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Yules? Yeah, hello? Where are you going? I don't know. What? I don't know. I'm just taking a walk. Go to sleep. No! Yeah! No! Yes! Nobody no. else. I was copying his voice. Nobody else is going to sleep. Please join me. I'm going to sleep. I I don't want to. I don't want to be stuck and alone. Who does just look to your where it's like, what am I? Oh. Me. oh no! Sorry, sorry. Oh. I didn't... <laughs> okay. You only just. Said that. I, I will be going good. to sleep in a little bit. I just need to talk to somebody. Okay. Plus, click like very a, heavy. Plus, click like an ego. We're going to sleep as well. Well, she'll just like look down her face just like well maybe just there go i think click collects actually helping click collects helping fetch building materials you can take so miasma what you can either take bud and lou or you can take coda the two like like snar like snarly looking giant hyenas are just kind of there like doing their little giggles. And then you have the bear who's just kind of like found some berries and is picking at them and eating them. I'll take all of them. Uh, okay. You heard them, guys. Yep, all three of them perk up and they kind of dash over to you, Miasma. Okay. I'm just going to take them around. Okay. So, as you all go to rest, those that are helping with the building, so Aloe and Cody, and I'll roll for Whisper, uh, roll me some strength checks. Let's see how well people do all put together. 17. Okay, 17, or 17 from Cody too. Oh, so you guys are in strengths, yes. Yeah. And Whisper, 11. And let's roll one for the blacksmith. Okay, you managed to get quite a bit done. Uh, Yules. Whereabouts the yeah. wander off to exactly during the night? He is going to the docks. Okay. A question, am I going to be needed for the next 20 minutes? Because I realise I need to go get myself breakfast for the next for the common week. Uh, go get breakfast, it's fine. We'll, okay. probably, be, we'll probably oh. be ending soon anyway, because we've got like a couple of minutes until two hours recording. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, oh no no no, Dion! I need to go buy stuff for my lunch. Not my breakfast. I have my lunches, just not the breakfasts. Yeah. So don't worry about it. We'll see you soon, if I know. <laughs> Uh, see you soon. I'll probably join you some maybe what you're doing. Or I might just go back to, to the whole thing, coding thing. Hmm. Okay, so. What are you I feel forgetting down... your hair, Zach. <laughs> what are you doing down at the docks? Yold is going to sit down on uh, a very soft um, sort of sway of his tail um, as the bell kind of shifts side to side. Uh, uh, there's no ring coming from the bell. He's just kind of looking down at the water. I know you're listening. They're all going to die, you know that, right, Mama? as it gets to morning. The blacksmith's place is less like how it used to be, more like just a rudimentary shack with just the bits that are needed for now. And Can you not hear me? What, sorry? Oh, that's answer, sorry. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay, did you, did you hear what Yult had said? Yeah. You set up along the lines of, you know they're all going to die, right, Mama? Okay, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know, realize which Mama you were talking to though for that, so. Oh, uh, Kiwi. But uh, didn't need to be answered back. I just, there was just silence. Okay. And I was like, hello, yeah, hello. I'll, <laughs> I'll get to that in a second. So, no, she doesn't need to answer back. It's just like, uh, did I lose connection? Then I did, no. which is why I was saying that. So. At the blacksmith shop, the blacksmith actually walks up to you, Cody. He's managed to actually figure out how to hold a hammer in his tail now. Yeah! And he hands you something wrapped up in what seems to be linen. Huh? What's uh, this? This actually managed to survive the explosion, and I figured if you're going into battle, you'll probably be best with it. And as you unwrap it, I believe you was after a buckler, weren't you? Yeah, like an, a magic plus buckler. Indeed. It is a plus one buckler. Oh, that's shit. Ah, uh, wait. I had a plus two buckler. Yes, but there's also something with it. Okay. Essentially, but... Do you know, like, the magic reflective properties that Alor's armor has? Yeah. That. Ah. I mean, the main reason I wanted the buckler was to boost my AC. I didn't realize what your AC was. Sorry. It's 60. <laughs> yeah, no, but I didn't realize you already had a buckler. That was the issue. I don't have a buckler. So, why does getting a buckler mess things up? It doesn't, it just, it's not the AC boost that I was hoping for. Uh, you were hoping to go up to AC 18. It'll put me up to 18, but I was hoping for 19. Ah. No, yeah. it'll put me up to, I was hoping for 20, basically. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it even more difficult for me to balance stuff out for the rest of the party. <laughs> That was kind of the thing. It was like, Cody was not a tank. That was my point. Hmm. So I was making her a tank. I mean, this does make her a bit more tanky. She's 19, I see now. Yeah. I was just going to go for the plus two one, then it'd be like true tank. Yeah. But it's fine. Sorry. It's okay. I'm <laughs> grateful for the item. I mean, it does also, you know, have the magic reflect properties too, so it's not like it's just a lesser thing of what you wanted. Yeah. Anywho. Thank you. It's okay. I will think up of an object for you as well, Trickster, and one for Whisper as well, because you both helped with the thing as well. Uh... But we'll quickly cut back over to the docks as you've been there all night. 
when you do get a voice back finally yours they they're gonna go through a lot of hardships I know but we I'm gonna try and do my best to make sure they survive and I know I've sent you there to help with that but I'll be watching over you all just to make sure the best I can anyway. <laughs> There's only so much we can do. Pretty much. Plus, but they walk in. my attention's been divided at the moment. I even had to send a guide out to do a little, uh, little favor for myself. Oh yeah, he brought us rapid teen hours. Oh no, no. Well, that as well, but I had to send him to send my daughter a message. Oh. If Dambit is going after us all, she may be a target. So I had to send her a message. But I had to keep an eye on everyone here, so I had the guy do it. That's a link back to a session that's only the almost there. Oh. <laughs> Things seem interesting. Intriguing, honestly. Yep. And let me just check. We will end it there for today. Sweet. So, how did everyone yeah. enjoy the session? Yay! It was good. Pretty good. I didn't get to do much, but I enjoyed it. I mean, I mean, if you want in these games, Zach, you just need to let me know, and I will make you a character sheet. <laughs> Please do join. Yeah. I can't. Yes. Yeah, on Saturday I have something else. Okay. Yeah. So, who is going to do the outro? No. <laughs> we'll we'll let Dion uh, and Santa skip out this one because, you know, voice stuff. So. I did. Basically, I'm going to roll a 1d3. Well, 1d4 since Zach's here. Two. Rebecca. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the outro. That's good. Yeah, that, that, that was the outro. There you go. I did it so far. Wait, wait. I'll do the, the outro now. <laughs> you know where it is. It's in Quartz of Legend. It's Please. Either do it in the style of Enya or a heavy metal album. You'll be back. I've got your friend. We will give her a moment to prepare. My boyfriend is a big fat rat now. How cute. JK. But, you know, I gotta deal with it. The anger back. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Also, it's an opossum, not a rat. You had an in character one. It's a possum, not a rat. Um, well, no. Trixum thinks it's a rat. Look at the bright side, though. You can experiment. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> with, that, with, that, we're quickly, with that, we're quickly escaping the recording. Bye bye. See you next time. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.